I have no idea. <laughs> Please make this stop. <laughs> Hi, my name is Annette Contivate. I was born in 1995. <laughs> no, don't laugh at me. What am I doing? Please. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh, that's the tape. Oh my God. I see it now. Can we just delete that other attempt? Oh, Tamaguchi. Was it Tamagotchi? Really? That's <laughs> Enough already. Hey guys, it's Annette Conservate, and today I'm a panda. I think it's, it's the key. I mean, to be ready for all your matches and to be fit, that's, uh, that's the key. I don't mind running. Um, I've started liking it recently and, and yeah, um, I don't mind going to the gym either. <laughs> yeah, it's just the nature is so beautiful. I think that's something that you don't really see at a tournament. Switzerland. Switzerland. No. No? It's Estonia. No way! Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe no, it. So. I felt like I started really strong and um, I controlled most of the first set and then in the second I feel like I backed off a little bit and let her um, take control of the match much more, um, which she did really well. And um, um, yeah, so the plan in the third was the whole time to try and control it myself and not let her dictate, dictate it, dictate it. <laughs> Sorry, struggling there. It was it was just a battle. I mean, she you know she never gave up. You know, it was never it was never done. You know, it was like it was really. I mean, you really had to stay in the match and and try and focus as hard as you can and and fight as hard as you can. I mean, I don't don't know which which thing to bring out, but it was it was definitely a tough match. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Um, it was really close until the end. I mean, all the points were even, and you know, it just—I don't even know how it ended. It like, <laughs> um, I won. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, it was just really close until the very end, and you know, I had some match points at five-three, but didn't close them out, and um, and yeah, I was. Um, I was actually um, actually surprised to to um, to close out uh, on her surf. And you had other, I think, passions when you were younger. You did a dance competition, and singing competition, yeah. much younger. It said that you were required to do that. Yeah, it wasn't Sonia. like a competition. It was like um, it was part of um, a thing we did at school, and I went to a really small school, so these classes were like mandatory. It was like a dancing class in a, in a choir. Okay. So um, it was just mandatory and it's like huge um, dance and singing festival in Estonia. Um, it's very popular and uh, 
tour. No. <laughs> you teach other people on tour how to sing and dance. I, it, would, it would be very painful for others to hear me sing, I think. I've heard your... <laughs> <laughs> Now you did mention that you thought there were quite a few Estonian fans here in Toronto particularly. Can you hear them yelling? Do they yell in Estonian when they're out there? Um, I think they're yelling in English, but um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of Estonians here and I'm really feeling the support. Based on what they say or what they yell, can you tell if those are <laughs> local fans or Estonian fans? Um, well, it depends what they're yelling, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So if I were to appear at your next match and I wanted to pretend I was Estonian, how would I say something along the lines of let's go or what, what would be a good cheer for me to learn? Um, I think the most common thing is to say tulabonet. It's like, like let's go. Tulabonet? It sounds yeah. French. It's really not. No. It's Estonian. Okay. Yeah. Right. Tulabonet. Was that close? Almost, you've okay. got an accent, but yeah, well, <laughs> it's not bad. The Canadian A <laughs> exactly. accent. Okay, well, if you hear that, then you're going to, in your head, know that it's exactly. me. Of course, you've got your on-court persona and your off-court persona. What would be your spirit animal? What do you most like, and is it the same on and off the court? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd say, like, maybe... Uh, on court animal, I'd say a lion. Okay. Um, quite fired up and and uh, fierce. But um, off court, I feel like I'm a little more shy off court. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I really, I mean, I love dogs, so I I, <laughs> I I hope to be like a dog. But I'm I'm not sure. I can't really. Maybe I'll just say a dog. Yeah. Okay. A really cute just, puppy. Exactly. Yes. Really cute. We got yeah. it. Awesome. <laughs> Another example of a great ball striking we've seen this evening. Oh, that was excellent from Contivate. Oh, it's very, very clever, and Mugaruta at the moment has no answer. No 14. Love team. Really has been very impressive this from Contavet. What a fitting end to a great final. Contivate cracks the code in Cleveland. For Annette Contivate, it's another afternoon to cherish. In her third final of the season, she somehow finds a way over the line to lift her second tour title. She edges out Irina Camelia Begu in a close straight sets battle here in Cleveland. And a look of utter relief across her face. I'm going to have you hold your trophy up, and I'm going to officially present to all of you your tennis in the land singles champion, Annette Contevades.
Queen of Cleveland and Annette Contivate, the 2021 Tennis in the Land champion. What a week it was. Such a gracious speech. The emotion never too far away. Folks, we're going to get some photographs taken.